Hey everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the right hand rules. These are guidelines to help you figure out what direction the magnetic field is going around a conducting wire or conversely what direction the uh, current is based on a magnetic field. And there are three right hand rules that you need to remember and we're going to go through them quickly. So ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Did you catch all that? No? Let's do it again a little bit slower. Ready? And one, two, three. So let's go through them one by one. The first right hand rule, we'll call this right hand rule number one. Okay, so right hand rule number one deals with current being carried through a straight wire. Now if we have a current running through a straight conductor, it will generate a magnetic field around that wire. Now when we're talking about the direction of current, we're talking about conventional current here. We're talking about the current flowing from positive to negative. We're not talking about the movement of electrons. You probably know by now that electricity is the movement of electrons, but electrons are negatively charged and they move from negative to positive. When we talk about electricity, we talk about electric current, we're using something called conventional current, which is defined as the flow of positive charge, not positive particles, but positive charge, and that is from positive to negative. Why the discrepancy? Well, because we've been studying electricity for over 100 years before we knew what an electron was. So we didn't know what it was, and we just gave it a direction. Turns out we may have gotten it wrong, but whatever, we can deal with that. All right, so we're dealing with Right-hand rule dealing with current flow, positive to negative, okay? So, we have current flowing through a straight conductor. It's generating a magnetic field. The direction of that, if we imagine a pipe and we imagine our current flowing through that pipe, our thumb represents the direction of current in that pipe and our fingers represent the direction of the magnetic field around that pipe. So the magnetic field is in concentric circles around and around and around, and that's our first right-hand rule. Our second right-hand rule deals with current moving through a coiled conductor. So here I have a small coiled wire, and if I were to hook this up to a battery, uh, a current would go through it going around and around and around and around and around again until it gets to the other side. So in order to figure out the direction of the magnetic field in this coil, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same gesture. I'm going to do the same thing. So this is going to be my second rule. One, two. So the direction of current is the direction my fingers are pointing. And the magnetic field north is pointing out that end of the coil. How do we remember? In the first rule, there is one straight wire, many magnetic fields many magnetic field lines going around. So one wire is the thumb, many magnetic field lines are the fingers. In the second rule, there's many coils of wire, but really only one magnetic field coming straight out of the, uh, the coil. Okay, so that's our second rule. The third right-hand rule deals with the motor force. This is the, the force that produces uh, motion in electric motors, it causes loudspeakers to work, and so on. And that deals with the interaction between the magnetic field of, a, of a, a conductor, of a wire carrying a current, and another magnetic field from an external magnet. So in this case, we will have three things to deal with. We will have our current in our conductor. We will have a magnetic field being produced by an external magnet. So in this case, we have uh, two magnets generating a uh, magnetic field between them, going north to south, in between those two magnets, and a conductor carrying current going through that magnetic field. Now, in this case, rule number three, we're going to hold our hand like this, right? Now, notice how I have my hand. I have my thumb out to the side at right angles to my fingers. Now, multiple fingers are going to represent the multiple field lines between the two magnets. The thumb is going to represent the direction of current of that single wire, okay? So again, single wire is the thumb, multiple field lines are the fingers, and the palm of my hand is going to be the direction of the motor force, okay? So, 
multiple field lines, multiple fingers, single conductor, okay, direction of conventional current, and the palm, the palm that does the pushing, that provides the force or the direction of the force of the motor force. Okay? So we can use those three rules, one, two, three, to figure out the direction of magnetic fields, the direction of current, and the force and the motor force uh, when we're solving electromagnetism problems. I hope you found this useful. If so, uh, I'd encourage you to check out some of my other videos on electricity and electromagnetism or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.